general theory about the state of things, uh, the state of the art, if you will, is that you've got a, an increasing need for broad bandwidth in terms of what people are getting. They are hungry for things we know. Uh, they go to see things that are not necessary. So to me, it's not a lack of content. It's not hard to find black movies. It's not hard to find black plays. A lot of it depends on how you define black plays in theater. I mean, Tyler Perry and David, uh, whatever, all those other people who are making these things, uh, that's theater. And if people are, are liking it and they fill out, you know, fill up huge auditoriums like this, and they do, um, then that has to be considered theater. Now, what they're eating, what they are consuming, I find these days to be troubling, or at least uh, not a satisfying meal. I think that you've got increasingly small bandwidths. I think you've got agendas being given artistic expression that do not satisfy the most basic root needs of the people, either spiritually, artistically, uh, critically, intellectually. And, and so I think that you've got a lot of people being served substandard material and out of a sense of what I would say misplaced racial pride or something, or loyalty, uh, have been given to consuming things that send terrible messages in large. Uh, although, if you wish to go back in time and look at the plays of Lorraine Hansberry, Alice Childress, uh, uh, Baldwin, these people, uh, August Wilson, I think that you will find a more satisfying meal. In the current iteration, you've got people like uh, to Robert Craney, the knowledge of yeah. You know, so you've got, you've got playwright, Lydia Diamond, who went to school here. Yeah. Um, so you've got uh, writers who are not really being supported by those people who claim most to want better representation. So I think that there's a disconnect, there's a need uh, for better nourishment, for better plays, for better skill. The skill. I tell you, there's so much, as Chuck alluded to it, there's so many talented actors and writers who are forced or relegated to doing substandard garbage because of the patrons who, uh, who are being serviced by the producers and the writers and directors are not going out and seeking it out or funding it. They give lip service and they have all the, they express all these high-minded things, but they eat the equivalent of you know 99 cent hamburgers at the window. <laughs> That said, the, the theater suffers from, I think, a lack of exposure and a lack of support from the states, from the cities, and so people are being forced to pay $50, $100. It's your conference here, $50. That's outrageous to me, where you can go and stuff like even in New York, you can stand online, get tickets. You know, they need to have some way, some initiative, if theater is continuingly relevant then we need to start putting our money where our mouth is. And as a former uh, educator who taught music uh, and then got my job cut and seeing the lack of investment that the public and the private individuals are giving toward the arts and toward these expressions, then you see the results of it. And I think that what the, the results that you see are played out every day and made manifest uh, across the landscape. So if you see a black boy walking in Kmart, with a, plastic gun that he bought there, or that didn't bought it yet, see. Somebody makes a call and they shoot him. That's a, to me, that has a direct, uh, uh, you can trace that back to the fact that what people are seeing about us in theaters, uh, in television, on the news, and even in fiction, is disturbingly inappropriate and disturbingly uh, um, wrong. wrong. But that's all hard to this earlier. I said, the only place I, I I'm looking at, we're sitting here, you're writing books, he's doing great scholarship, he's, we have a lot of friends, we got my dear friend Peter Erickson is in the audience, a professor here, I got over here, brilliant man, wrote a seminal book about blacks in, 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 the, in the media, the theater, and so forth. The only place I can't see Harvey Young is in the movie, or on television. I see people raping their daughter, being slaves, and things that this is so, or, or whatever, doing things that they ought not to be doing, who everybody can say is wrong, 
wanting these bad things to happen. But I find that there's a, 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 a critical lack of perspective uh, and a critical lack of the whole spectrum being played out because we're so eager to please people and give people what we think they want, which sends out wrong messages which have lethal impact in the real world.